Young kids in Santa Cruz, California, stumbled upon one of the rarest finds in the state's history, the fossil of a giant sloth. The fossil was actually found last spring by uh, a group of elementary school students, kindergartners and first graders. They were out on a field trip playing around in a creek when one of them noticed something that looks kind of like a stick. And when we listened to the students tell the story, there was a lot of excited argument. And you thought it was a stick, but I thought it was something else. And, but you know, they were really excited. Uh, it's just sort of this mystery object. These kindergartners and first graders brought the bone back to their classroom and they were playing. And one of the parents uh, eventually reached out to the museum to have it identified. The Santa Cruz Museum of Natural History investigated the item further. And we connected them with our paleontology advisor, Wayne Thompson. He's just like, wow, this is special. We took our time to reach out to some experts to have it confirmed as a Jefferson ground blast. And it's actually the first time that that type of animal has been discovered in this area. It's very significant and extra special, of course, that uh, the little kids found it. So what is a Jefferson ground sloth? It has a really deep history in paleontology. One of the very first scientific papers was published by Thomas Jefferson about this sloth. And that's why it's named the Jefferson ground sloth because Thomas Jefferson wrote a paper about these fossils. He even had fossils like ours along with him when he went to accept his vice presidency. The fossil is thousands of years old. Based on kind of where the bone was found and kind of the sediments around it, that it could be between 11,000 and 300,000 years ago. But that was when the Santa Cruz area had many of these ice age animals, humans and giant ground slabs that as tall as a grown human were around at the same time. They went away at the end of the ice age when there's a huge climate change. Many think of these cuties when they hear sloths. Jefferson sloths are very different. Tree sloths that are around today and the ground sloths that are now extinct uh, branched off in their family tree a very, very long time ago and they kind of went in different directions. So these ground sloths are not only humongous, they were lumbering around on the ground more like bears, but they're eating plants versus the slow pokes that are hanging from trees that we know about today. The fossil will now be on display through the end of May. So this is our 35th year of doing our Art of Nature show. And we thought that it was a good match for this art show because when you're talking about extinct animals, there are no pictures of them. The only way that you can look at what does a ground sloth look like is if an artist has made a picture of it. And so we have the, the bone prominently displayed along with these beautiful illustrations that really bring it to life and show it in the ancient habitats of Santa Cruz and the kids can enjoy knowing they made an incredible find. They were the very first people to see it and they were so excited. I think some of them will be paleontologists when they grow up because they are super proud and they're, they get how it's special and significant the find is because they're so curious and looking at the world with fresh eyes. So like, I'm sure adults had walked by that same bone before and it's like, ah, that's a stick, right? But these, you know, young people's eyes were just looking for something uh, magical and they found it. For Inside Edition Digital, I'm Andrea Swindle.